The Lance Peter has a snap-open space hatch and Star Wars action figures are... But beneath that uniform, she is the Wonder Woman doll. You can pit He-Man against Beast Man playing for the power of Castle Grayskull. My little pony, my little pony. G.I. Joe, American hero. The battle is on for the Sword of Omen. You're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of the heat time. Hi everyone, I'm Newt, and welcome to the very first episode of 3 Minutes of Playtime, where we review, discuss, and repair toys in under 3 minutes. So besides costume making, prop building, and making aliens, one of our other passions is toy collecting. And today, I'm in my Shira getup for a very good reason, because today I'm reviewing the Shira Masters of the Universe toy by Super 7 as seen on TV. The box is really awesome. It's got fantastic art. So if you're one of those people who like to keep things in boxes, this is one to keep. I almost don't want to open her, but I'm going to. So let's see how she compares to the Vintage Masters of the Universe toys. So here she is out of the box, and she looks amazing. The original Shira toy didn't look that much like the Shira we saw in the Filmation show. This one looks very much like the Shira we see in the show. With some minor differences, like they put some detail and dimension into her armor here and there. Her boots and her gauntlets look exactly like the original Shira toy. So they kind of mixed the best of both worlds almost. The hair sculpture is really nice. I love the tan they gave her. In fact, the paint job in general is excellent. I don't see any imperfections in her. Sometimes you get toys and it's like one eye's off to the side. But this is beautiful. I love the um, metallic gold that they used on her. It really feels like it came from the 80s. As for her accessories, she of course comes with her sword of protection. Which is awesome. Let's see how she holds it. Hold it. That's so cool. She also comes with her shield, which is technically your sword, so she shouldn't have them at the same time, but whatever it looks for. So you can go sword to shield. And for some reason, for some reason she comes with He-Man's sword which I don't know why she comes with the sword of power, but she does. I guess if you don't like the jewel and you want her to have He-Man sword, you can have that, but I'm gonna give that to He-Man. I prefer her iconic jeweled sword of protection. She also comes with, which I thought was a comic, but it's not, so I'm a little disappointed. But it's just a little card art with some cool Shira art on it and from Toy to Toon, which is kind of what I was just talking about. The differences between the Princess of Power toy line and the Filmation show, so, yeah. So here she is, compared to the two toy lines that she was based on. You can see how she's kind of a Mary of the two. I don't know if it's just the hair, but she seems a little taller than Tila to me. She's definitely tanner than both of them, which is cool. And, and if you can see, Look how much more awesomely muscular her legs are compared to the original Shira. And just like the body is even more curvy. I just, I love the sculpt so much. She could fit into the Motu toy line so easily. I can see like these two badass women fighting side by side. The card art is fantastic. So if you like to display her in her box, it's great that way, and if you're like me, and you like to display her out of her box, she's absolutely beautiful, and will go fantastic in your Mochi collection. So yeah, Shira approves this video. For the honor of love, we have the power, so can you.
Oh god. I hate doing it. Right, I'm going back now. I thought that was a comic book. It was just a... Made to look like a comic book.